Lesson 11.7, Estimate Volume Rectangular Prisms. This is Lesson 11.8 in the older copyright. Volume is the measure of space a solid figure occupies. We can use everyday objects to estimate the volume of a rectangular prism. We can use a small rectangular prism that we know the volume of as a tool to estimate the volume of a larger rectangular prism. We can find about how many of the smaller prisms fit in the base and about how many make up the height. We can multiply these numbers in the volume of the smaller rectangular prism to estimate the volume of a larger rectangular prism. So if we knew about six boxes of tissue fit into a cardboard box and each box of tissues has a volume of 150 cubic inches, we would be able to use this information to find the volume of the cardboard box. So if we know one box of tissues is about 150 cubic inches, and if about six boxes of tissue fit into this cardboard box, the estimated volume of the cardboard box can be found by multiplying six, the boxes of tissue, times 150 cubic inches. We get 900. 150 times 6 is 900. That means the volume of this box is about 900 cubic inches. We say about because we don't know exactly if that's precisely right because we're using boxes of tissue. We didn't actually measure it. Miss Cho has a box that can hold two dictionaries in each layer. If the box can hold three layers of dictionaries, What's the estimated volume of the box? Well, it's telling us that a dictionary is about 160 cubic inches. And we think we know the volume of one dictionary. We can multiply it by two for the volume of the first layer. It says two dictionaries in each layer. Then we multiply the number by three layers. 160 cubic inches times two dictionaries. This is for the first layer. That's 320 cubic inches. There's three layers, so we do 320 times the three layers. We get 960, so the volume of the box is about 960 cubic inches. If the volume of one box of Cheerios is about 2,383 cubic inches, what's the estimated volume of four boxes? So we think we know the volume of one box. We can multiply that volume by four to find the volume of all four boxes. 2,383 times four, four times three is 12. We regroup the one, put the two down. Four times eight is 32, plus one more is 33. We regroup the three, put the three down. Four times three is 12, plus three more is 15. We regroup the one, put the five down. And four times two is eight, plus one more is nine. And the four boxes of Cheerios is about 9,532 cubic inches. If the volume of one small box of cereal is about 24 cubic inches, what is the estimated volume of the package? So we think the package contains one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight small boxes of about 24 cubic inches each. We can multiply to solve. 24 times 8 is 192. So the package of eight small boxes of cereal is about 192 cubic inches. One video game case is about 344 cubic centimeters. What is the estimated volume of the video game cases shown? So we think we can count the cases and multiply that number by 344. So we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven video game cases. Now we multiply. Four times seven is 28. We regroup the two and put the eight down. Seven times four is 28 again, 29, 30. Seven times three is 21, 22, 23, that's 24. We get 2,408. The volume of all the video game cases is about 2,408 cubic centimeters. 
Take a look at these two solid figures. And both figures have a volume of 36 cubic units. They're made up of 36 unit cubes. We have three going across this way and three going across this way and three times three, that's nine. And it's three units tall. That is equal to 27 unit cubes down here. Here we've got two going across, two going this way, and it's two high. That's eight cube units. Here we have one on the top. We can add the 27 plus eight plus one. That's 36 unit cubes. For this one, we've got three going across and three going back. That means there's nine, three, six, nine unit cubes along the base and its height is four unit cubes. That's 36 unit cubes. And they have different shapes, but the same volume. They're arranged differently, but they both use 36 unit cubes. They're both 36 cubic units. Dave and Bob estimated the volume of their boxes. So here's Dave's box and here's Bob's box. Using a dictionary with a volume of 160 cubic inches, Dave can fit three dictionaries on the first layer. One, two, three. And it can hold eight layers. Bob's box can hold six dictionaries. One, two, three, four, five, six along the bottom on the first layer and can hold four layers. Dave says both boxes have the same volume. Is he correct? So we think we can multiply the number of dictionaries on the first layer by the number of layers to get the volume in dictionary units. Dave's, he has three on the first layer and eight layers, that's 24 dictionaries in his box. Bob can put six dictionaries on the first layer in four layers, six times four, that's 24 dictionaries. They both have 24 dictionaries that they can fit in their boxes. That means Dave is correct. Both boxes have the same volume, they both can hold 24 dictionaries. And we can find an estimate for their boxes, 160 cubic inches for each dictionary times the 24 dictionaries would be 3,840 cubic inches as an estimate for each box. So remember to be very careful as you're doing this. You wanna know how many objects will fit in the first layer, then you want to multiply that by how many layers fit in the rectangular prism. Our next lesson, 11.8, we're going to talk about volume of rectangular prisms. We're going to talk about the base multiplied to the height and length multiplied by width multiplied by height. I hope I'll see you there. Have a wonderful day. Bye.